Okay. We are back to our quantitative methods class. I got it. Okay, previously we were dealing with. Oh, let me see if I remember. Because we did what demand and what supply what analysis. We moved on to revenue, cost, and what profit. Now our next topic for today is series and sequence. I got it. So under quantitative methods, you also have series and what sequence. So basically, what I'm going to do today is what series and sequence. Okay. Before I start, my name is Denitri Kwabnaki Kelly, a student of UPSA. I would please urge you guys to kindly subscribe to my channel and also make sure you send the videos to your friends also what watch and benefit. And also don't forget to turn into what subscribe as well. So let's start. For today's series and sequence, we have this. Now, one might ask, when we talk about series and sequence, what comes to mind? And as series and sequence, we have arithmetic progression and also have geometric what, progression. So we have this. Arithmetic progression. Which we call the AP. We also have geometric progression. Now, in geometric progression, we call it GP. Okay, now, for this arithmetic progression and a geometric progression, they all have their own what, formulas. I got So, now, how would you be able to identify that with this particular question, I'm going to use arithmetic what, progression, or with this particular question, I'm going to use what, geometric what, progression? It's very easy. When you are given a question, you first analyze the question. Now, is the question talking about common difference? First term and what? An nth term. Then we know you are dealing with what? Arithmetic what? Progression. Now, if the question being given to you involves a percentage, definitely the percentage is going to give you what? A ratio. Then we group it down now what? Geometric what? Progression. You let me write a formula down. So, arithmetic progression, you have, when you are finding for the nth term, so nth term, you have that. This is the formula. A plus into bracket n minus 1 d where t n is the nth term, the n term where a which is this is our first term where n is the number of terms The D here is our common difference. D. Okay. Now, with the arithmetic progression, we have the formula for n ten, and we also have the formula for what? the total what? output. So this is the formula for the n ten, the total output. We have this. Total output or the sum is also given as Sn is equal to A, so Sn is equal to N over 2 to bracket 2A plus N minus 1 D. The same understand where A is the first term, N is the number of terms, this is what the common difference. So whenever you are given an arithmetic progression question, and the question is asking you to calculate for the n term, we use this formula. If the question is asking you to calculate for the total output, for the arithmetic progression, or the sum for the arithmetic progression, then we use this. Sn is equal to n over 2, brackets open, 2a plus, brackets open, n minus 1, brackets close d, where b is the common difference. n is the number of terms. a is what the first term, and n is what? The number of terms. Now we move on to the geometric progression. So with the geometric progression, we also have the nth term. 
the geometric model, the n term is given as Tn is equal to a r n minus 1, where a is also our first term. Where r is our common ratio. Where n is our number of terms. So this is the formula for calculating the end term for what? Geometric what? Progression. Now, let's also find for what? The formula for what? The total output. When I'm calculating for what? Geometric what? Progression. So total output or the sum. It's also given us Sn is equal to A into bracket R N minus 1 all over R minus 1. So now, with the arithmetic progression, let me leave much emphasis on it. With the arithmetic progression, when you are asked to calculate for the nth term, we use this formula. Zn is equal to a plus into bracket n minus 1, bracket close d. Where a is the first term, d is the common difference, n is the number of terms. Now, under this same arithmetic progression, you can be asked to calculate for what? The total output or the sum. Now, it's going to use this formula. For what arithmetic what progression? S n is equal to n over two. Bracket open two a plus into bracket n minus one bracket plus so d. Now with a geometric progression, that is the formula we are calculating for what the nth term. So please try and get the differences. This is n term for a p. This is n term for what g p. The n term for g p is t n is equal to a r exponent n minus one. Where r stands for what common ratio. So now, one might ask, what's the major difference between geometric progression and what arithmetic progression? With arithmetic progression, it uses what common what difference. Geometric progression uses what common what ratio. That's the difference. Geometric progression, common ratio. Arithmetic progression, common what difference. Okay. So with the geometric progression, that's the formula, the nth term. There's also the total output for what geometric progression. What are we going to do next? Is we will pick questions. I go. We will pick questions. Let's say two or three questions. Then we solve them based on what the arithmetic progression was understanding, and that of what the geometric progression was understanding.